Hey, hey, welcome back to Medieval Cop episode 13. Last time, Drag went through some weird vision, which we later discovered to be a part of a memory of the future. Drag apparently traveled to the past to stop this cult of which we slowly get pieces of information as time moves on. But will we be able to change the timeline to prevent whatever awaits us? Time will tell. Oh, it's Pear who's calling out to us, but... Was... What was that? Was that a memory? Was that... Huh? Uh... I should have been saved. I didn't want to die. I... Father, can you hear me? No. More importantly, can you hear the ticking? Ticking? Is there a bomb? Ticking? That's... That's not a good sound. Follow that sound, Father. I'll explain everything later. But you need to find the source of that sound first. Uh, uh, I don't know. Soda? Soda? No? Where am I supposed to find it, man? What? Letters? Medical Association letter copy. Respected director, how are you able to get a recommendation by that doctor for your research? We are not angry that you bypassed us, but simply curious about how you were able to make that person give you a recommendation. If you teach us your method, maybe we can do more for your hospital in the future. Sincerely, Medical Association Head. Okay. Oh, that was another one. Do I need to go out? The ticking got faster. That means you're going the right way. Keep going. Is that a good sound? I need to check everything and everyone. Hello? So this is a hospital. That is the right way to go, so I'm not going that way yet. <laughs> okay, so it goes slower and faster depending on where I am, so... I'm just gonna go and explore. Is there a god? Now that's a debate going on for centuries. But for those in the medical profession, it is better to work under the assumption that there isn't one. Although there have been cases where someone miraculously recovered or even died from a minor condition, it all can be explained with further investigation. But isn't it weird? The patients, whenever they recover, they praise God? So what if we are the gods? Was that another one? Yeah, that was another one. Two more. Hey, I'm on a I'm on a roll here. Oh. <laughs> Oops, uh, I think I just did something that I was not supposed to do. <laughs> so, okay, we're definitely supposed to go up there, which I'm not... Oh, wait, no, it's supposed to be here. Yeah, no, I'm going up. I'm going up. Go to the roof. Yes. Oh, wait, I can't? Oh, come on, you can't do that to me, man. Wait, 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 there's still stuff here. I need to I need to explore everything. Well, I guess we're gonna go in here, since there was nothing else to see. Oh, is that the one that was covered in or I don't know how to call it, but I guess vision? Dr. Loeb? How do we know his name? Doc yeah, that's, that's him. Ah, uh, yes, who? You, I need to... I need to... Uh, it's you? Who's on the other side of the room? Huh? It's Ada, Duke, and the captain. What are you doing here? I... I... Oh, what? Drag collapsed? What the hell is going on here? Is he sick? Hmm, he seems disoriented. Could it be a concussion? I wonder what he hit. Oh, right. He did hit himself on my bed. He, he hit himself on your bed? Oh, yeah. Sure, Ada. Sure. More like you threw the bed on him. It's honest, the miracle he's still alive. <laughs> well, I have given him some medicine. He should be better after a nap. Let's move our conversation elsewhere. Oh, then how about we move to that room? Seems more convenient, right? Sure, if that will put your doubts to rest. So it shall be. What are they talking about? <sighs> Please, just go back. There's nothing for you here. No, 
everything I've ever wanted is right here. How delusional. <laughs> she keeps breaking his heart, but I don't know how to interpret this. Last time Ada hated him and didn't want to see him again. And now she's putting up a happy face in front of him? And he's, well, kind of living in her home? This is strange. Something about this doesn't make any sense. Uh, my mind is finally clearing. I don't know what's going on, but I feel like I should check out this room. I see more papers. This Dr. Loeb. He's related to whatever the hell is wrong with me. Were we drugged? More papers? These are reports. Medical reports. There are too many. Which one should I read? Richards, Casulas, Martins, Perseus, Bentleys, Johnsons. Uh, what? I don't know. Can we go back? We can't go back. I don't know. Perseus? Cassi I don't know. I've got no clue. Wait. The voice in our head was probably... A, a, that was a girl voice, right? Well, a women voice, right? The only women voice in here is Casilda. Hmm? Casilda. She's the only woman among the reports. Yes! 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 Oh god, dang! Okay, so we do have to think extremely rational here. <laughs> oh boy. I wanted to travel, ride and carry to see the world, marry a man who loves me, but he... But he... Yep. That was the exact line I was thinking about. Come to think of it, that voice was from woman too. I should read this report. I think I missed something, by the way. I think I needed to read that book first. Casilda Sayona, age 24. Symptoms during admittance. One-sided headaches. Temporary blindness. Hmm? There's a footnote written by someone. The first of many. Many? What does that mean? More importantly, this report is two years old. Why is it among the latest reports? That is strange. What do we have here? Hmm, this book was written by Dr. Loeb. It's a medical book with lots of illnesses mentioned. Which one should I concentrate on? Cholera, tuberculosis, plague, moronera, tumor, malaria... A tumor maybe? Hmm. Okay, this is really difficult. Cholera, tuberculosis, plague... The plague? The black plague? Is this a reference to that? No, it isn't. Oh god, this is really difficult. What is Moronira even? I don't even know what that is. Moronira? Because I don't know what it is? Hmm. Moronira? I've never heard of an illness of this kind. What kind of illness is that? Jesus fuck, if these are the answers, it's gotta be a hard one. Moronira, an inborn condition that has recently surfaced in many, although the case is not yet known for it. This new condition first appeared in one in a million people, but now it appears in one in a thousand people. The person with this condition will exhibit random headaches, which follows with temporary blindness. Is this what Dreg is having? The Emperor has granted a huge donation for us to develop a cure for it. Let's hope we can find a cure before it's too late. Cases of Moronera increasing? It would be understandable if it was a contagious disease, but an inborn condition? Does it have something to do with how we saved the universe? Like before their children weren't even born, but now they have an inborn condition? A night chart. I can read everything on it except the words, but it's probably because I'm currently drunk. How are you still drunk, Drag? <laughs> Actually, come to think of it, we have barely seen Drag touch any bottle. It's been so freaking long since that happened. Hmm. The soil in the pot looks disheveled. I need something to dig around it without harming the plant to avoid suspicion. Alright, can we find something on here then? These are herbs. Different ones are kept together, let's see. Oregano, aloe vera, holy basil, lavender, ivy, lemongrass. Uh, ivy? Like poison ivy? Why? Yeah, poison ivy. Why is it being kept among other herbs where its oils can affect other herbs? Yeah, because poison ivy is... It can be lethal. This seems highly unprofessional. I wonder what the dog was thinking. <laughs> thinking? You'd be surprised how many people don't. <laughs> These are just old medical textbooks. They seem worn out from reading, probably by the dog. 
Which one of these bosses contains suicide pills? <laughs> Drake is gonna try every way to, 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 to commit suicide because, well, he can die. So he might as well just try everything. <laughs> Fancy chair. I wonder how many patients you're up to buy it. You know, the doctor would be a cool name to use in a heist movie. Anyway, is there something in here? I miss those times when they gave highly dangerous drugs as medicines. Life is less fun now. <laughs> Locked. What kind of world do we live in where a doctor can't trust out of his prescription medicine? Hmm. Where are some medical equipment kept in there? The stethoscope, thermometer, thermometer, scissors, bandages, trowel, trees. Why is there a trowel in here? Anyhow, we can use a trowel to dig around in that pot. A trowel? Why is it here? It's used for scooping stuff. Wait. Oh no. Oh no. What is drag going on about? Nothing special on this side of the bookcase. Maybe on the other side? Hmm. There are a variety of books kept here. I wonder if the doc has something interesting among them. Bone structure, cardiology basics, ulcer management? What is that even? Acupuncture 101, dental anatomy, soul theorem. I don't know what ulcer management is. Okay, no clue. My next hunch would be the last one, like soul theorem? What? Uh, soul? Why is there a book about it among the medical books? You know, all these clues that we're finding here, they don't really make much sense. It seems kinda random. Although it is difficult to prove the existence of a soul, however, if proved, it could explain a lot of things. Like, how does the body is built from conceivement to being born? The cell has a small egg and becomes a complex being. How? How does the egg know and build itself without a brain in prior stages? A possible explanation could be the soul. Although some scientists claim it is the work of molecules. <laughs> like, molecules? <laughs> That has genetic instructions. It sounds even more accepted than a soul theorem. <laughs> Conspiracy theorists. Two beds. Hospital beds with wheels are like baby strollers for dying adults. The cycle of life is beautiful. Yeah, and just the same thing. Okay, so let's go back to the pot, and that should be our final clue, right? Hmm, the sauna pot looks this shelf. I have a trowel. Which part of the pot should I concentrate on? The hard soil, the plant area, the soft soil, the bottom layer. The soft soil? The soft part makes sense since one needs to plow through the soil to hide something in it. I mean, we could have used our hands actually, but okay. Huh? What's this? A small leather bag? What's hidden inside? What's inside a bag? This doctor has something to hide. What the? It's a brochure? Let's see. The Brotherhood of the Ultimate One. Oh, so yeah, yeah, so he is actually part of the cult. Make the right choice, join the brotherhood to fight against the evil sisterhood who control our way of life. Oh, wait a minute. Is Ada part of the cult now? Is that what Dr. Sai meant by turning everyone, everybody drag loves against him? Is Ada gonna be part of the, of the, well, the brotherhood and sisterhood? Oh wait, no, what? Evil sisterhood? Are they talking about the angels? What is this? Some sort of cult? Why was it hidden? Who are the sisters they are referring to? And more importantly, why does the dog have several of these brochures? Was he intending to recruit people with it? So is Ada then part of the brotherhood or is she part of the sisterhood who is trying to protect Drag? You know, I, I, I don't know. It's, it's, at the moment it's a little bit too much really. Damn it. I checked the whole place, but I still don't have a damn clue on what's going on. Am I going crazy? Someone is knocking. Don't kill me! I literally don't know what's going on. You must kill me. Allow me to kill myself with my own two hands. <laughs> Jack, why are you still scared to die? You can't. Oh, wait, it's Pear. Okay, good children don't commit patricide anyway. That's what a good behavior book told me on its first page. Oh, it's just you. Wait, what kind of kids book mentions patricide? No, wait, more importantly, what's going on? It's a bit complicated. I will first need to know a couple of things. And why does this child know more than we do? Hmm, your body is in the same condition as before the anomaly. That's a miracle considering the scale of the phenomenon. My normal condition is different from others. Just call me a home of depression. <laughs> 
<laughs> Too bad it will go extinct soon. <laughs> but, uh, what's the first thing you saw in the anomaly? First thing? After the static? Let's see. That was some kind of weird room, right? A carriage, a track, a piano, a station, a key, a crate. It was not a carriage. It was not a track, it was not a piano. The station? It looked like a station. A waiting area for people who were going to ride in carriages. I see. Was the anomaly divided into floors? Did you descend or ascend them? I descended them, right? I think I was descending. The carriage and the tracks were on the bottom floor. I see. And did you board a carriage? Yup. Yes. Then which direction did the carriage went? To the... Wait. The carriage arrived from the right to the left, right? So it should have gone to the left, right? It came from the right, so I think it went left. Pear, be honest, what's going on? Father, what do you think is going on? Hmm? Well, if I have to guess, I went to the future, I picked out the future, I was dragged to the future. Um, these are all the same answers. So, I guess I peeked at the future? No, it was neither of those options. Oh, okay, so it didn't matter. What? Father, you traveled in time to the past. The past? So we time traveled from the future to the past, which is the present. Uh, no, that's not right. I'm pretty sure whatever I saw hasn't happened yet. You're right, it hasn't happened yet. What? But you just said... Wait, is it... Did it happen in another timeline or in another universe? Father, you traveled back in time to the past, which is now. Okay, so Drake is now also a time traveler? What are you... Father, you have traveled back in time from the future to the current moment. What? Yes, you are from the future, or at least your soul is. Wait, hold on, I am from the future? Then why don't I remember anything? You do. That broken vision you saw, were from the future you saw. But it's natural you don't remember much since. You are not a true divine. A true divine? You mean like Arcana? We're a semi-divine. Yes, only true divines can turn back time and remember everything. Sister Hope inherited that trait from Arcana. Oh, wait, so his daughter is a true divine, but Drag isn't? <laughs> Typical. <laughs> but it seems you forcibly return back time with your flawed divinity. Wait, now it's called flawed divinity? So being a semi-divine is a flawed divinity? Okay. Hence the corruption in your memory. Honestly though, you're very lucky. The chances of successfully coming to the past is lower than you giving up alcohol. That's what happened in the future that made me turn back time. Did we lose? It is hard to guess, but fortunately, your instinct has engraved the future in it. It is the key. My instinct? I can't do more than just have suicidal impulses. <laughs> the taking your head is a warning. It tells you whenever the timeline is going towards a predetermined future. So, I need to find a source of the ticking and interfere? Yes. Can you hear the ticking now? You need to act immediately when you do. Missing even one event can be catastrophic. Oh crap. This is gonna this is gonna be stressing me out. Okay, fine. But I'm really curious as to what happened in the future that made me take such a drastic step. Uh oh. The ticking started. And the ticking has started again. It's getting stronger. The next interference is outside this room. Lying to parents. That was a huge no-no according to the book. Wait, what? But I had to. There's only one reason why he would risk everything to come back to the past. And if you knew the reason, you wouldn't be able to control yourself and... And you would have locked all of us to keep us safe in a golden cage. There's gonna be another world ending event? 
Drake doesn't seem to get a rest, does he now? He saves the world? Nope, still not done with you. Okay, so we're back here. We still can't talk to anybody, right? Nope, they still don't answer to anything. They still ignore us. Okay, we're getting closer again. Yeah, it's up here. Go to the roof, yep. I can't live like this. Oh, someone is gonna jump, right? I don't have a choice. Who is that even? Okay, new character that gets introduced. Ah, uh, and it all is coming to an end. I feel as if I could have lived a bit more. I always wanted to travel, see the world, meet new people, but this illness and the way my life has played out. Oh, wait, is that the Carlinda or whatever her name is? It's obvious Carl wants me to die. Fine, I was sick and tired of this life anyway. Hey, oh wait, that's Dregs' line. <laughs> Goodbye, world. I hope you'll be happy once I'm gone. The world can suck a lemon for all I care! So we have to make sure that she doesn't jump. Hell yeah! Suicide is the best! <laughs> uh? <laughs> hey, watch it! Hi, I'm Drake. I hate the post office. And he's got... It would be actually funny if he just jumped off right away. Uh, um, Casilda? Yeah, that's the name. That's Casilda. I gotta hand it to you. You found a great spot for killing yourself, but it does have some faults. Uh, faults? For instance, this building is only three stories long. Unless you are planning on jumping head first, it will not be fatal. What? Three stories? Dude. That will be fatal. Not 100%, of course. You, you could survive. But I don't know if you even want to survive that kind of fall. Three stories? That's pretty damn high up. That's... Wait, how many meters? That's three, six, nine... Let's say about... 10 to 12 meters? 12, nah, 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 it's not gonna be 12. Around 10, 11 meters high. And that is high enough to fuck you up real good. Wow, I... Not to mention, the fractures you sustain can make your life living hell. More so than it already is. Yeah, that, that's exactly what I was mentioning. <laughs> you wouldn't... You could die from the fall, not necessarily, but if you survive the fall, then it will indeed be fucking anguish. That's... So how about we find a taller building? We could double jump. Let's race to see who will hit the pavement first. <laughs> you... You're trying to stop me from jumping, aren't you? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Uh, what makes you think that? You're right. I intended to jump alone. Please stand back for your own safety. Enough! Leave me alone! That doesn't concern you! But it does. Greatly disagree. But even if it didn't, I wouldn't let someone become a murderer. Huh? A murderer? Yes, a murderer. Someone who kills another without their prior consent. That's what you're becoming. What nonsense! Are you telling me I don't want to die? Nobody wants to die. It's the circumstances that makes them. If you can't get rid of that, then they will always choose to live. Oh, spare me that bullshit! Uh, uh, it's happening again! What? Her eyes just turned transparent. She became blind again. What the? Her eyes look blurred and distorted. Is this a temporary blindness? Ah, uh, my head, I can't. Legs start shaking. Drag, you have to take her off that ledge. Yeah. Ah! <sighs> hey, you okay? Uh, why? Why did you save me? Because you didn't want to die. This again! I want to die! What part of it do you not understand? The part where you start having a headache and your first instinct was to turn and lean towards the roof and not the ground? I mean, yeah, he is right about that. Uh, like I said, if circumstances were different, you'll never think of killing yourself. Then, what is it that I want? You don't want to die, you just want the pain to end. Ah. 
she starts crying. So we needed that patient. Wait, it started ticking again. I see. There's one more thing left to do. Huh? My blood group is B negative. Please remember it. Is he gonna jump? Um, sure. <sighs> Somewhere out there, I bet a divine entity is laughing at me. Mr. Dreg? Wait, is he seriously gonna jump? Why the fuck would you do that? I'm gonna do a backflip! <laughs> Mr. Dreg! I love Ada! <laughs> That's so disturbing. <laughs> what happened? Huh? Drag? That's so fucking wrong. Doctor, is he alive? Answer me. Answer me. Stop scaring the doctor. How can he save Drag if he's shivering in the corner like that? <laughs> Ma'am, ma please calm down. Do you know his blood group? He needs blood first. I, I, I don't. It's B! It's B negative! Uh, who? And so we saved Dreg. What in the world made Dreg jump off that roof? Does he need to be hospitalized? Because that fall didn't kill him. And he knew that. Where am I? Wait, I remember this. Isn't this the... Yeah, the, ti the timeline stuff. This is... The path of the timeline? Each route represents the path each soul has taken and will take, intertwining with the other souls' path, which created the current timeline. Did I really turn back such an incredibly enormous timeline? Wait, more importantly, reversing such a universal law must have required a huge amount of power. And where did we get that power? From where did I acquire such a power from? The gate? Huh? Isn't this... The gate of origin? Or the room of origin? And I guess it... I can call it the gate of origin? I have a what? Dr. Drag. I said you have a sprained wrist. What were you doing to sprain it this badly? Wait, I don't wanna know. It's not what you think, Doc. I'm a hand puppeteer. Oh, oh, no, 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 <laughs> no, no. I'm not going along with this joke. Fuck that joke. Somehow I find that more demeaning than what I had in mind. <laughs> Doc, can't you do something? I have a show tonight. I, I can't perform like this. Well, it should be fine as long as you let it rest for a couple of hours and apply the ointment I'm prescribing. That's too many instructions. Can't you do something simpler for me? In that case, I can always amputate your arm, then you have a wooden one which you can puppeteer with your other hand. Uh, <laughs> draws a butcher knife. So, shall we begin? Since you're in a hurry, I won't be using an aesthetic. Ah, no thanks, I'll use the ointment! Two times a day! If you start having hallucinations, then you apply too much! <laughs> Ah, it's just me or the patient getting more stupid. This way, the next page would probably be the most idiotic waste of life in the entire universe. And by that, you just jinxed yourself and you're gonna get what you asked for. What the? Isn't that? It is. Well, I was right. Ah. I keep telling you, I'm fine. I'm not taking any chances after the last epidemic. Who knows what germs you're carrying with you? Now then, answer a couple of questions for me. Okay. Were you sick any time within this month? Does alcohol poisoning count? If so, then every day. Have you been traveling? Yes. I was in the Sign Empire recently. I went along with the negotiation crews and I wanted to meet someone. How are you feeling now? Oh, okay, wait. Turning back. That makes a lot more sense now that Drake was in the Sign Empire. Okay, so he wasn't living with Ada, he just went to visit her. Makes a lot more sense now. How are you feeling now? I want to die. I meant health-wise. 
I want to die. Oh, yeah, I still want to die. That was, yeah, foreseeable. <laughs> Seems like everything is in order. That's disturbingly sad. <laughs> Keeps filing shelf. So, which drag are you? Me? I am not Doctor Rat, not a postman, not Dragarina, not drag critic, drag who? Dra He's none of those. So I guess drag. I I don't have an adjective, but if I have to give myself one, I guess the Guardian drag makes sense. Wait a minute. Wait. I suppose that the Guardian drag is the drag that we started this whole series with. I suppose. Guardian drag? What are you guarding? The alcohol cabinet? Nah, I'm guarding the universe against an omnipotent being, who if he succeeded, will destroy everything Ark wanted to protect. A postman? <laughs> what? No, more like a land shark. Sounds unimpressive. Anyways, I have other patients. Why did you come here? You have money to pay my fees, right? I don't want anything. That damn door brought me here and... Son of a lady dog! Hey! You just insulted me, her mother and you. And all the collective dregs. I'm kind of impressed. You're a doctor, right? Oh, we're gonna need him to consult us on the patient. On Casilda. That's what it says on my medical degree. Even I am sometimes surprised I passed, so your reaction is understandable. Then, do you know about... Dengue, fever, malaria, typhoid, cholera, moronera? Do you know of Moronera? Moronera? You need to give me more details, it may have a different name here. Right, for starters, Moronera is a contagious disease, an inborn condition, a deadly virus, a pathogen, a birth defect, poison. No, it was an inborn condition. It is an inborn condition. There are two known symptoms for it. First, it gives a person headaches, nausea, fever, brain freeze. Headaches? Headaches on one side of the head, and a symptom. And the second symptom is going deaf, temporary blindness, dry mouth paralysis, temporary blindness. Temporary blindness. The patient experiences loss of vision during the headache and also wobbles like a drunk person. I see. Well, I definitely know of it, but it has a different name here. You do? That means this epidemic can be cured and possible bad future can be avoided. What is it called in your world? Uh, stress? Oh god. <laughs> Is it- is that really an- wait, is that really an actual thing? Can this happen in real life? Damn! Stress is fucking awful! Um, what? It's stress, you idiot! Although that would be putting it lightly. Your patient is extremely stressed! What? I don't think you heard the symptoms properly. How can it be stress? One-sided headaches are called migraines. One of the symptoms is stress. A heavy strain on the brain can block certain functions. Seriously? Let's see. Ah, here's the book. You're not illiterate, right? Read this book. It explains how stress can actually hurt the body. Your patient needs to chill. Hold on, we are stressed all the time. How do we not develop any of these symptoms? We have outlets to relieve stress. Alcohol, hating the post office and not caring what anyone thinks. Stress can accumulate over time, or maybe something happened in their life that has stressed the person out of their limit. Really? But she's... Her case is more than two years old. How is it that there's no improvement? It depends on the person. Sometimes it even depends on the environment they live in or if their doctor is a hack. Dr. Loeb? But he's working hard to solve it. In fact, even the Emperor got a huge donation to create a cure and... Oh, wait, no, 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 there's something more at work here. That doctor was handing out those pamphlets. Maybe he's using the money to, well, fund the... Oh, that's what this was all about. That was what the other members of the cult were against. Using the funds for, to get those people healed and cured, but use those funds for their... I don't know, cult worshipping things? Oh... Son of a freaking bitch! Holy, you freaking scared me, what the hell's wrong with you? It finally makes sense! The cure is a lie, the patients are not real, how to treat a disease that doesn't exist. Gold, it's all about gold. Yup, 
and this line says it all. That madman, he knows! He definitely knows! I, I, we had some reservations about the plan to uh, appropriate the funds. Yup. You wanted to speak with me, eldest brother? Yes, some brothers have concerns about the methods you suggested. That clever bastard. He manipulated the whole thing. That smiling creep. I'm going to punch him right in his mouth. I have no idea what you're talking about, but remember to wash your hands afterwards. I need to expose him. I'm not supposed to cure the condition, but prove that it is fake. Oh, and because we finally got it, the gate open again so we can go through it. All right. What? I guess it's time for you to go back. Do we have to go through it though? Well, uh, see ya. Put my bill on the tab. I'll pay it afterwards. <laughs> you son of a... Oh great, now he got me doing it. I'll perform your post-mortem without washing my hands. I mean, he is drag, so he needs to put it on the tab of drag. So he needs to put it on his own tab. <laughs> And this is where I'll end it for now. To those who are doubting me to ever catch up to the series, look at me go. But yeah, you're right. Faz and Jay is gonna release a totally new game series around Christmas, I believe. I myself need a little bit more convincing to actually buy the game, but I might just buy the game to check it out so you guys can find out if it's worth it. But let's be positive and hope it's worth the money. So if you want to find out, be sure to be subscribed, leave a like on this video if you want to see more of the series, and as always, Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again in the next video. Ciao!